time conversion. Kids, we already know the different units of time, such as seconds, days, weeks, etc. Let us learn how much of one unit of time is equal to in terms of another unit of time. Let's begin. One year has 52 weeks. One year has 365 days. And one leap year has 366 days. One decade is equal to 10 years. One century is equal to 100 years, which is same as the period of 10 decades. Now, let's learn how to recognize whether the given year is a leap year or not. We know that a leap year is a year with 366 days, wherein the month of February has 29 days. Now, in order to find whether the year is a leap year or not, we just need to follow two simple rules. Rule 1 We have a leap year when the number represented by the last two digits of the given year is divisible by 4. Rule 2 A century year However, is a leap year only when the number represented by the first two digits of the year is divisible by 4. Now, let's look at a few examples to understand it in a better way. Let's find out whether the year 1904 was a leap year or not. Here, the number represented by the last two digits is 0, 4, which is divisible by 4. Thus, the year 1904 was a leap year. Now, let's find out whether the year 1982 was a leap year or not. Here, the number represented by the last two digits is 82, which is not divisible by 4. Thus, 1982 was not a leap year. Finally, we shall find out whether the year 2100 will be a leap year or not. As the year 2100 is a century year, we have to check if the number represented by the first two digits 21 is divisible by 4. 21 is not divisible by 4. Therefore, the year 2100 will not be a leap year. Kids, do practice some examples of the same type on your own.